Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am very excited to make this one for you today. My name is Kyra. I make videos all about Chicago, apartments, a little bit of Trader Joe's. Thank you for everyone who regularly watches my videos. I feel like you guys deserve the shout out in the beginning. Thank you to all of you because I love you. Okay. I posted a video just like this recently. I was pulling the Ikea items and there were so many good ones and I was finding like so much fun stuff that I've never talked about before that I was like, all right, I have got to film another Ikea video because there was just too much stuff. So today's video is 10 Ikea items that you should be considering for your studio apartment. I'm very excited about this. If you just recently started watching my videos or maybe this is the first, my entire channel started because of my studio apartment. Fun fact. I moved into my first studio in 2017. I moved in and was just like, how the heck does someone set up a studio apartment? And I went to YouTube to try and figure out what to do as we all do. And instead of finding content on studio apartments, it was all like family of five lives in 200 square feet. And I was like, not quite. I am a normal girl looking to live in 400 square feet and I don't know how to set up my apartment. So. That's where my entire channel inspiration came from. All of my videos for the first couple of years were only about studios. So this is a video that I'm very, very excited to make because it really brings me back to my roots and I am so excited to show you some of these items. Let's jump into it and see some really cool items for studio apartments. So I dug around in a couple different like categories because honestly I could find you a hundred items from Ikea that would work great in a studio apartment, but I tried to pick specific ones that just about everyone typically needs when they move into a studio at first. So I started off with tables, something that is workable, eatable, that sort of like multifunctional space. If you have seen my studio apartment or some of my previous Ikea videos, I've probably talked about it as well, but this is the table that I used to have when I lived in a studio. This is a wall mounted drop leaf table. However, now they only sell it in this brown black and I had it in white. And I know that doesn't probably seem like a big deal to a lot of you. However, I really loved that it was in white. I thought it looked really sleek and really pretty. But the other thing with this now is now so many people are working from home. It's a fine amount of space. Like one person could easily work there from home. However, I would probably want just a little bit more space dedicated to a tabletop at this point, even if I was still in a studio. And keep in mind, I did live in a studio with my then boyfriend, now fiance, and this little tabletop would not have worked for us to both work from home. It was a little too small for that. So I pulled a new item that I hadn't seen before that I was really into, and this is their table and two stools. It's like a bar top height table, which I think is really, really cool. And I just, I love the whole look of it. Like I love the brown and I love the black metal. I love the weird shape of it with the rack at the top. What I would do is they kind of have this looking as more of like a workspace and you absolutely could. And I think that that would be a great thing to do with it but I would probably use the sides as well as that top bar to hang different things from. If you really utilize this in your kitchen the most, like you could even use that top bar to hang your pots and pans or paper towel holder, different things like that. If you had herbs, like they have this little plant hanging over here, you could do that with herbs. Like I think there's a lot of multifunctional ways that you could use this. That would be really cute. Next item is a clothing rack. I feel like that's one that's really commonly used in studio apartments if your closet doesn't have a lot of space. My thing with clothing racks is you do need it to look aesthetic because it is going to be out. So like this one looks cute. Like those are like a nice little neutral color palette that they have going on there. But if you were to just put extra clothes on there, a lot of the times they can get really funky looking. You could put it by like your front door as a makeshift coat closet even. If you are someone who really wants your room divided up and have very distinct areas of space, you could almost use a clothing rack as a room divider because it's like a two in one. Like not only is it helping divide up your room, but it is also making it so that way it's functional, it holds things, which goes right into the next item of an actual room divider. I know this one's really popular. I know people really love room dividers in studios. It's not my personal cup of tea, but it felt like it would have been a miss to not talk about it just because I know that separation is something that's huge for people. It's a great room divider. I like it because the light would still go through. The white panels are translucent. It wouldn't be like blackout or make 
part of your apartment really dark. It is $189, which I feel like is a little bit pricey, but if you are someone who you really want a distinct separation of space, this could be a really good option. They used to have at Ikea a ceiling system where you could hang drapes and push them back and forth on like a rod on a ceiling. I couldn't find it this time, but if someone was like, you're living in a studio and you have to divide up your space, that's something that I would use because you can pull them out to cut off your bed, but you can also put them away if you want the space to be more open. But in reality, I would just leave it open the whole time, so it kind of defeats the purpose. All right, next item, I think that this is so smart and you could use this in your bathroom, but I also love the idea of putting something like this in your kitchen if you have a really tiny kitchen. But this is a corner basket with suction cups, so it's great very renter friendly, doesn't cause any permanent damage, very cheap at $8.29. I have something similar to this now, but they're with like sticky cups, which can sometimes leave damage depending on what you're putting them on. And I got them from Amazon and they were more expensive. So if we're looking to stick to Ikea and be damage free, this would be a great option. Not only is it great for the shower, like obviously so much easier to put your shower things up versus having them down where they get all gross. But like I said, I think that this would be a great thing to put in a kitchen as well. And you could put like spices, and your salt and pepper or maybe like smaller utensils like your bottle opener or can opener or garlic squeezer squeezer garlic press those types of things in there I feel like you could do a lot with it and in both of my studio apartments I had corners that I could have worked with in my studio here it was like the fridge and the wall went up against each other so I could have put that in that area and then just put like I think spices would have been my go-to but multi-use item that I think would be really, really functional. This next item, Ikea has had around for forever, but I think it is such a good deal and just a staple for anyone who's renting anywhere. And that is the Fixa tool set. They have a couple different Fixa sets. Honestly, I love them all. I just think they're all such a good bang for your buck and so cool. And this is amazing because it has a hammer. It has, I don't know the names of tools. I realized very quickly as I was gonna start to say that. I know it has like screwdriver, Phillips head and flathead. I, is that a wrench? Are those pliers? I'm not really sure. Anyways, it has all of the basics, which I'm not a handy girl. I'm not out here like building my own furniture. However, it is enough that you could build your Ikea furniture. And when you need to hang things or if something breaks, like you've got enough to be able to work with the basics that it's such a small little toolkit. And I just think it's so well worth having for the instances that you're just like, oh my God, I forgot that I would really need pliers if those are pliers. I feel like I should have been able to explain that better than I did. All right, next up is a laundry bag. I picked this one for two reasons. Number one, it is a pretty small footprint. Also, I really like the color. I love the beige color. I think it's really neutral, really pretty. And I specifically picked this one for a studio because my first studio apartment did not have laundry in unit and I had to go to the laundry room in order to do my laundry. So the fact that this has these big handles to carry it down to a laundry room would make it so so much easier um love the drawstring at the top like it's just i think it's cute it's simple it's a good price point at 17.99 and it would be really functional so many laundry baskets are just so ugly or i like that this one is also taller because you can't see into it as easily a lot of them are really short and in a studio if you don't have space to be able to like hide your laundry basket somewhere and you do something short everyone's just gonna be looking at your dirty clothes whereas this one they'll get more lost in the bottom next item sleeper sofa so i went through every single sleeper sofa that ikea has and you don't have to have a sleeper sofa however i've always had a lot of people come visit me in my apartment so it's always been very very convenient and i've used it a lot you could always do an air mattress though but i love a sleeper sofa this one I love it. I don't love all of Ikea's sleeper sofas. I think most of them are way too hard. And I honestly think that they're pretty overpriced for the quality. I think you can find better elsewhere, even on Amazon sometimes. But I like this one. And I have slept on this myself once when couch surfing in Spain. Fun fact. But this one is $399. So it's not like cheap. Like there are couches for cheaper than that. But still wanted to share it. I like this because it is an actual mattress. I love the natural cover on it. I don't like the other colors of cover, like this gray one that she's messing with is not my favorite, but it does plow, and I believe it's a full size bed. It's not a queen, I think it's a full. I also think this shape is very, very trendy right now. It almost looks like vintagey, rounded edges. I feel like it's kind of a vibe. I feel like it goes with clean girl vibe, which I can't relate to, I don't do it myself. Is it a queen? That looks like it might be a queen. It doesn't say, it just says for two. What size bed are you? 
Okay, yeah, confirmed it is a full-size bed, but you could easily fit two people on a full-size bed, especially if it's like for a short period of time. Anyways, very cool piece. I do like this one a lot as well. Honestly, this would be a great thing for Alex and I to put in our office for when we have guests come stay. Alex, I might be a sleeper, so if I went from Ikea for your office. Ooh, that'd be sick. Just a thought. I'm thinking about it. Okay. All right, next item is a bed frame. There are a lot of bed frames that include storage on Ikea, and honestly, I hate them all. I really do not like any of them. I think that they break really easily. They're usually on like a drawer system, um, and I just don't think they're good quality. I think it's too hard to get the drawers in and out. Like, I just don't think you'd use it. So... I picked one of the cheapest bed frames that they have, and this one is $99. What I like about this one is number one, it's super minimal. I really do love like a minimalistic look, but I love that the entire space underneath it is completely open, which you could use for storage. If you have seen my studio apartment videos before, you would know I am a big proponent for getting a really tall bed frame because it just maximizes your storage underneath your bed. But if you're at Ikea, and you're working on a budget and you see this bed frame, it's not a bad option. You could still do storage underneath that. You could also do a bed skirt around it. That's what I did for years to hide all of the stuff that you store underneath your bed. And you could easily do a bed skirt on this too if you just wanted it to be covered a little bit more. But honestly, like in the photo they show here, the duvet is so big, you don't even really see under the bed. Just an option. But for $99, I thought that that was a really, really good deal when looking to moving into a studio. All right, the last items, I'm showing like two here. So I have a foldable tray from Ikea that I use on my bed and I used to work from it. It has a hole for cords. It has a spot for me to like put my phone and like console holders. It's amazing. And it was $9.99 from Ikea. It was the best. They don't have it anymore and I'm so upset. And this is the most similar thing that they have to it. And it's $34.99 and it doesn't have the hole for cords and it doesn't have something to like put like my phone or things that could roll or anything else in there. Like, I just don't think that this is worth $34.99 compared to like how great that my original one was. So this item does not make the list. But this item does, because for just a little bit more, I think this is so much cooler. This is a laptop stand and it's $39.99. I like the color of it, I think it's cute. It does come in like a black color as well. What did they call that? Anthracite, I don't know what that means. But I do really love the beige, I think it's really pretty. So this is a laptop holder, it has this little mug holder on the side. But look at this, it folds up, which I think is so cool. It just makes it so much easier and you can angle it. So I think that this is great for anyone working from home because you could work from your couch. You can use it as a flat table if you are eating something or just like fill the snacks, like maybe you're using it as your dinner table, but you still have the cup, which is so great. But you can also tilt it to be like a proper laptop stand. And if it's tilted, you still can put your cup on it. <gasps> wow, that was such a great example of him having it tucked behind the chair, flat, and then pulling it out. I love it. I think this is such a great item. If I was moving into my studio, this would be really high on the top of my list. I think this is one of the best ones that I've seen on this time. You can adjust the height, you can adjust the angle. It's so cool. I love the cup holder. I love all of it. More images. Oh, it's just the dimensions. Anyways, this one I'm a big, big fan of. I think considering their tray is 34 now for $5 more, I think this is such a better item. All right, guys. Well, those are my 10 items for studio apartments that I wanted to share with you from Ikea today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below and let me know which items you think are the best of the ones that we talked about. And if you have any that you're like, oh my God, this item is crucial and I can't believe I missed it. Definitely let me know that too, because we can share the wealth of knowledge. If you haven't already hit that big red subscribe button, click the bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. Also really quick, I am still selling my cups. I still have a few of them in stock. I will pop the picture up here. So they are Chicago specific. If you're a Chicago lover like I am, feel free to check those out. But thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.